Okay, so today we're gonna discuss the, how to recover a Chromebook with uh, the Raspberry Pi and um, I have written on my blog but uh, I think they will be uh, a little bit more helpful to talk about um, how I actually wire everything up um, so that you have a better idea of uh, what you actually need in terms of hardware um, so in terms of hardware, it's um, it's very simple. You need a Raspberry Pi. Um, a, a Pi Zero works fine, um, but if you have one of those uh, big Raspberry Pi one, uh, two A, two B, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you have a Raspberry Pi, it will work. And um, what you need is a, a whole bunch of rows from about um, I think this row, seventeen, nineteen. Uh, 21, 23, 20, uh, 24. That's all you need uh, to uh, wire them up. So with this Raspberry Pi, I have soldered uh, all the pins from uh, 17 to uh, 20, uh, 23 over here and um, 20 and 24 um, as uh, male headers. You need a uh, um, SD card with uh, Raspbian Lite installed. <laughs> yeah, of course, you need the chip. Um, the chip uh, can be found in the um, uh, in the Chromebook. Um, here, I have desoldered it, but you don't really have to desolder it. Just uh, clip right on. So, yeah, the most important thing that you probably need and you have to order is this SOIC clip um, with eight pins over here. Um, I have wired them up with um, with uh, eight wires, and um, most of them are straight wires. But um, what I do here is having, um, according to uh, some of the documentations, it requires you to uh, uh, just splice two of the female wires and then um, connect them all together to uh, the VCC pin on the Raspberry Pi. But uh, what I have heard also is that uh, you really don't need to do that. Um, just ignore pins number 3 and 7, uh, which is a uh, um, URI protect and uh, hold pins. Um, and just just ignore them, just don't connect them. All you need to is to connect the VCC pin. So um, that will save you the trouble of uh, wiring um, this uh, this uh, VCC pin as well. So you don't really have to uh, to splice um, two female wires to connect them to all together. So, but if you wanted to do it the right way, what you need to do is. Um, splicing uh, two female wires so that uh, we have four ends and one end will go to the Raspberry Pi as VCC and um, the other three will go to three pins on here. So let's recap um, what we have to do here. So what I find um, quite helpful is I often mark um, you know one of the sides of the SOIC clip with a, a different color so I know that is pin 1 over here so how do you know is the pin 1 on the chip so if you see the chip there's a, a small small um, uh, dot there's a little dot over here that indicates pin 1 and what you need to do is align whatever the pin 1 it doesn't matter the orientation but once you have a pin 1 uh, let's say um, on on this side you you have to uh, know that that's everything every wire is correct so um, align the pin 1 and uh, clamp it on the the chip like uh, like this So you need to clamp it on the chip and if you do it right, it will clamp right on, like this. So it will, will clamp right on and it will stay. So about the wiring, the pin 1 on the, on the SOIC clip will go to, is a chip select pin so the chip select pin will go on pin number 24 on the Raspberry Pi 
so pin number 24 like that um, the pin number 2 which is MISO master in slave out will go to pin 21 on the Raspberry Pi so here the ground pin um, which is pin number 4 will go to the pin number 20 on the Raspberry Pi the pin number um, 6 which is serial clock will go to pin number I believe number 23 on the Raspberry Pi the pin number 5 which is MOSI will go to um, pin number 19 on the Raspberry Pi and the last which is VCC uh, which connects uh, pin number 3 number 8 and 7 together uh, they will go to pin number 17 again um, just to remind you um, I have heard that if you just connect number 17 to VCC which is pin 8 on the SOIC clip it will work just as well so that's all we actually have to do to uh, to get the hardware going and now um, what we're gonna do next is boot the Raspberry Pi up and um, get it flashing so here I have um, actually um, prepared every program that I need over here but uh, otherwise you will need to come um, get and download the flash ROM utility on the on the sauce but uh, that's uh, that you you could probably uh, read on some guy on the internet so let's wire it up and uh, see if it works so now let's go to my computer So I'm gonna log in with my account here and what you need to do once you got a uh, flash ROM install is do this so flash ROM dash p linux underscore spi colon bv equal bv slash spi dv 0, 0.0 and um, if everything works right it will tell us that we have uh, 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 that we found uh, that it found a flash chip over here um, which is a uh, W25Q64.V um, your chip may be different but um, it, it will do something like that and if you have the ROM uh, all you have to do is uh, issue the same command but uh, with uh, with uh, also with the dash um, write uh, whatever the file name that you have over here um, maybe uh, the Dell Chromebook ROM so that's uh, that's the idea how to uh, recover the dead BIOS with uh, a Raspberry Pi thanks for watching bye